Hey, what's going on Outward fam? It's Malik over here. I'm gonna be teaching y'all an awesome high intensity interval training class today. I'm gonna to provide modifications for each exercise. So pick the intensity level that works best for you and we're gonna keep rocking and rolling. We're gonna start with our warm up, and I'm gonna go ahead and share the routine with you today. So if you wanna pause right here, take a picture, you can go ahead and make that happen. But we're gonna start with two sets of our warm up, and then we're gonna go for two sets of our main routine. All right, who's with me? Let's get it. All right, so for our warm up, the first exercise, we're gonna get into 10 squats. Feet are gonna be outside of your hips, toes are pointed out. We're gonna keep the pressure on the heels. We're gonna rock out 10 of those, right? Awesome. So remember, your hips meet your knees. You're gonna lift from your heels, keep your chest elevated, don't let it cave in. We're gonna keep the right form. 10 of those, and then you're gonna get into 10 squat jumps. Same thing, feet outside the hips, toes are pointed out. You're gonna come down to where your hips meet your knees, you're gonna jump up really high, right? Awesome. Next part of our warm up, we're gonna get into 30 seconds of our scissor walks, right? So the scissor walks, it looks just like this. It's a lot of intense movement. You're gonna go for that on 30 seconds, right? Your modification for that, you're gonna take step backs. Just really fast step backs. That's gonna be your modification, good. Next one we're gonna get into, we're gonna do a plank. We're gonna be on our elbows. Feet are gonna be four to six inches apart. There we go. Make sure your hips aren't too high, they're not too low. They're just parallel with your core. Good, you're gonna hold that for 60 seconds. Here's a trick. To avoid lower back pressure, keep your hamstrings, quadriceps, and glutes really tight. That's gonna avoid your lower back pressure. Your modification, you're gonna be on your knees. Your knees have to be behind your glutes, okay? I'm gonna set you up for success. Invite your friends, invite your fr uh, family. Let's get it. We're gonna finish up with 20 push-ups. Your palms are gonna be outside of your shoulders, feet four to six inches apart. You're gonna come down really low for 20 push-ups. Modification, you're on your knees. Knees are behind your glutes. Nose one inch off the ground. Good job. Remember, two rounds of that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the main routine now. For the main routine, it's gonna be 75 seconds for your go time, and you can rest for 30 seconds in between each exercise. Two sets total. Let's get started with the first one. I know you're ready. Let me get my paper over here. So we're gonna get into some squats with knees to elbows. So really good for your lower body and your oblique core. Hands behind your head. You're gonna come down for a low squat. Right knee, left elbow. And then you're gonna alternate, right? Making sure when you take your squat, hips meet the knees, keep the pressure on the heels, and then cross over. When you're crossing over, your knees crossing over and so are your elbows. Awesome, all right. Here we go, next one. We're gonna get into a high plank formation and we're gonna do shoulder taps. Right palm, left shoulder, alternating, low push up, frog jump, and we're gonna jump up really high. Modification, you're gonna step back instead of a frog jump on your knees, behind your glutes, low push up, back on your feet, standing up tall and jumping. Great job. Here we go, next one. We're gonna get into a side plank Rotation. So for this one, you're gonna be in your side plank formation, elbows parallel with your shoulders. Make sure your body is fully vertical. You're gonna be lifted up really high. Your left knee in this, in this case, in this formation, is gonna come in towards your chest. You're gonna rock that out for 75 seconds. Modification, you can be on your knees and then that knee is coming in towards the chest. On the second set, you're gonna switch to the other side. All right, you got it, good. All right, next one we're gonna get into, we're still gonna target the core. We're gonna get on the ground though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our palms flat, toes parallel with our belly button. You're gonna lift up really high, and then your, your feet are gonna come up six inches off the ground. Once your toes are parallel with your belly button, you're gonna come up to a hip raise. Really good for your core, the whole anterior core. Your modification, feet are gonna be underneath your knees. You're gonna go for some toe touches, right? Setting you up for success, you're welcome. Here we go, team. Team outward in this place. All right, squat jacks. 
So squat jacks, we're gonna have our feet outside of our hips, toes are pointed out. You're gonna get into the squat formation and then you're gonna jump up to close and then you're gonna jump up to open up wide. Modification, you're gonna do a squat with pulses. So you're gonna have the same squat formation, but you're gonna pulse for three seconds. One, two, three, and lift. Squat, one, two, three, and lift. You got it. All right, the last exercise of our circuit, we're gonna do wide V-ups, right? So feet are wide, notice how they're not closed, they're wide. Hands are wide, not closed. You're gonna come up to that V shape and reach for those toes. Really great for your core. You got a full body workout today. And remember, I'm actually doing a fitness giveaway. At the end of every week, I'm giving a free virtual training package away. So check the details in the description below so you can enter and have a chance to win. Thank you so much for checking out the video. And if, if you enjoyed it, share it with a friend, share it with a family member. Encourage people to stay active during this time. That's why I'm providing this and that's why I'm providing the free virtual training because I want to help my community out. So spread the word. Team Outwards got you. All right.